Hi, I'm Mike Cornell from Back T Sports. Welcome to Back T Sports Tip of the Month. Our tip this month is going to be on uneven lies. The first one that I'm going to talk about is an uphill shot where the ball is definitely going to launch higher in the air. When the ball is going uphill, I want to make sure that I set my spine perpendicular because the ball is going to go farther when it goes uphill. So I want to choose a club that is going to be a seven iron. I'm going to hit an eight iron because the ball will definitely go farther. So my setup has everything to do with how I'm going to address and approach this shot. So when I get set up, as you'll notice, if my shoulders are level to the ground, when I get set up for an uphill lie, the left shoulder gets farther from the ground. So in order to make this a perfect shot, I'm gonna make sure that my spine is perpendicular to the slope. I'll play the ball a little farther back in my stance because I'm gonna contact the ball sooner. And when I swing, I wanna make sure that I'm keeping my weight moving up the hill. That is how you would like to hit an uphill lie. Our next shot will be downhill, sh downhill lie shots. With these shots, I also have to make an adjustment in my setup and my posture and my ball position. Much like the uphill lie shot, I want to make sure that my spine gets perpendicular to the hill. So you'll notice when I set up to the hill, if I want to level out my shoulders with the hill, which I want to do, I'm going to have to set weight more on my downhill leg, my spine to get perpendicular to hill, my right shoulder rises. As I do that, my head will be ahead of the golf ball, and I'll now want to take a club with more loft because I want to get the ball up the hill. So what I'll do is instead of hitting a seven iron, I'll hit an eight iron, get my weight and my spine perpendicular to the hill, and swing along the hill, making sure that I stay down through the shot and still moving left. Our next tip for this month's tip of the month is the ball above our feet. Again, when I have any uneven lie, I'm going to look at the severity of the slope. As I do so, I'll know I have to make adjustments in my posture and my setup and also my weight distribution, and I also want to know, make sure that I know that the ball is going to curve towards me. So when the ball's above my feet, the ball will go left. So with the ball above my feet, I know that I'm going to swing a little shallower, therefore I'm going to contact the ball earlier in my swing, so I want to make sure I play the ball back in my stance. I'm also closer to the ball, when, so when I set up, I want to be taller, gripping down on the golf club, and more of my weight towards my toes to offset the hill. When I get set up, because the swing will be more around me and I contact the ball earlier, I want to play the ball back. Again, just like an uphill lie, I want to take club that has less law or more loft because the ball will pull left. When I do that, I'll aim a little bit right with the ball back and make sure that my weight moves left. But we're going to continue with our tip of the month uneven lies and now we'll discuss the last uneven lie, the ball below our feet. Again, we must make adjustments with our ball position and our posture, and also our weight distribution. When I get set up with the ball below my feet, I have to remember that the ball will curve away from me. As I do so, I'm going to make sure that I get a little more club, so I'll grip a little higher on the golf club. I'll also take a club that I know as I, when it curves to the right, I get set up. I'll sit down more into my knees and into my posture. As I make this swing, I want to make sure that I stay in that posture. The ball will be a little more forward. My weight will be along the side of the hill and as I swing, I want to make sure that the ball will have a little cut spin and move away from the hill. I'm Mike Cornell with Back T Sports. Hopefully you've enjoyed this tip of the month.